All right, today, exponential numbers. If we were going to do this problem 57 times 100, well, you punch that into your calculator and you'd get 5,700. My question is, how many sig figs is in this problem? Well, if this is a measured number and that has 2, and this is a measured number and that has 3, you remember those rules. And you also remember the multiplication division rules says this has to be a 2 significant significant figure number. So how do you write 5700 to 2 sig figs? Well, if you wanted to write 57, well, that can't be right, right? Because it has to be the same value. 57 bucks is a whole lot different than 5700 bucks. And you can't write 5700 zero, zero because that has 4. Or at, at least an ambiguous number. So we have to find a way to write a number to show two sig figs in this manner. And the only way, well, the way we can do that is using exponential numbers. And the first way I want to talk about is standard exponential notation. Standard exponential form. This is where you're going to be doing an awful lot of your work. Some professors actually require all their answers to be in standard exponential form. So how do we do standard exponential form? Well, it's simple. We're taking a number that is the value part of the number and that part has to be a number expressed as between 1 and 10 the number 1 and number 10 with the right number sig figs could be 1 2 3 4 etc as many as needed in this case this number would have to be to 2 sig figs so that's the value part and then we multiply by an exponential part times 10 to some exponent. Something that will uh, be helpful to us in a little bit is that a big number has a positive exponent, whereas a little number will have a negative exponent. We'll give you the specifics on how to do this problem and then maybe a little hint on how to uh, do it a little quicker, but still make sure you're doing it right. Okay, so let's get to work. How do we go about doing this problem? Well. 5700 is the number and it. it's two sig figs. Our job is to write the number in standard exponential notation, which means we have to write the number and restate it as between 1 and 10. It's sort of like saying the difference between 137 pennies and a dollar 37. Same value, but we're writing it in a different way. Okay, so this number is clearly not between 1 and 10 right now. It's a lot bigger. So, if it's a lot bigger, to get it smaller, you're going to divide. And what are we going to divide by? Factors of 10. That's the exponential part. Well, if you divide this part by 10, you have to match it by multiplying by 10 or by 10 to the 1. When you do that, what do you end up with? 5700 divided by 10 is 570.0 times 10 or times 10 to the 1. That number and 5700 are the same value. Try it. 570 times 10 is 5700. We're just writing it in a different form. We're still not standard exponential form. This is actually exponential form. It's just not standard exponential form because we need to be between 1 and 10. So we've got to go through this process again. So we're going to divide by 10 again, and then we're going to multiply by 10 again. And what are the results? Well, 570 divided by 10 is 57.00, and 10 to the first times 10 is 10 to the second. You can go into the book and review the exponential rules, but that's pretty simple. 10 times 10 is 100, right? 10 squared is 100. 100 times 57 is 5,700. So once again, this number, this number, and this number all are exactly the same value just written in a different way. But we're still not at standard exponential notation because we're not between 1 and 10. So let's try this process one more time. 
we're going to divide by 10 in the value part and we're going to multiply by 10 in the exponential part. We're not changing the value of the number 5700, we're just writing it in a different way. The results of this are 5.700 times 10 to the 2 plus 10 to the 1 is 10 to the 3rd. Once we are here, this part is between 1 and 10. It's multiplied by 10 by 10 by 10, or multiplied by 1,000. 5.700 times 1,000 is 5,700. So this value is the same result as this one. All the numbers with stars are the same value. Now we want to write the number to two sig figs, right? So, to write it to two sig figs, it's just 5.7 times 10 to the third. And that is 5,700 written to two sig figs in standard exponential notation, standard exponential form. Something called scientific notation as well. All right, let's quickly go through a small number like a calculation might end up with 0 0.00450 and I have to write that number to three sig figs in standard form. Okay, well we're not between 1 and 10, are we? Certainly not. So, we have to make this part of the number bigger, right? We're less than 1. If we multiply by 10, on one part, we're going to have to divide by 10 on the other, and dividing by 10 is the same as multiplying by 10 to the minus 1. Once again, in the book, you can look at your exponentials rules, but that and that are the same. So, what are the results? We've made this bigger by 10, so 0 0.0450 times 10 to the minus 1. This value and this value are the same value. Try punching this in your calculator, see if you get that. You better. But we're still not at standard exponential notation because we're not between 1 and 10. So we have to go through the process again. I'm multiplying by 10 here, dividing by 10 here, which gives you 0 0.450 times 10 to the minus 2. 10 to the minus 1 divided by 10 is the same as multiplying by 10 to the minus 2, same as dividing by 100. We're still not between 1 and 10 on the value part, so one more time. 10, multiply the value part, and then we're going to divide by 10 on the exponential part keeping the value of the number the same, 4.50 times 10 to the minus 3. That number is written to 3 sig figs. This is an example. And an example. Okay, so we're done. 3 sig figs. Exponential form standard such that this part of the number is between 1 and 10 and if you took 4.50 divided by 10 divided by 10 divided by 10 you would get this value so all those numbers are the same value and that's the key all right so that's the specifics on how we go about our business i've got another way of doing this some of you like swooping and swooping is great nothing wrong with swooping um, just remember that if it's a big number, positive exponent, a little number is a negative exponent. So let's try this with the swooping method up here. 5700. Zero, zero. That's our decimal point. We're going to go 1, 2, 3 swoops. Let's make the swoops bigger. 1, 2, 3 swoops. 3 swoops means times 10 to the 3. Okay? So you rewrite that number as 5.700 zero, zero, 
times 10 to the 3. And then it's up to you to decide if this should be a positive exponent or a negative exponent. Well, 5,700 is a pretty big number. Wish I had that much money in my wallet, right? Big number, big party. So that's going to be a positive 3 on the exponent because a big number has a positive exponent. All right, now let's try this one. 0 0.00450. We need to get that number to between 1 and 10. The value part, 1, 2, 3 swoops, right? So then we would write that as 4.50 times 10 to the 3 again, but this time, because it's a little number, we'll have a negative exponent. Don't worry about which direction you swoop. The jumps tell you what the number is. The value of the number as a whole tells you whether it's a positive or a negative. Okay? So, that's the way we deal with writing exponentials. Uh, let's give you some examples. Well, the first place you go for examples is do as many problems from practice uh, exercises 1F as you can. And now, uh, uh, after a suggestion from somebody, with my practice problems, I'll give you a little uh, a heads up on how we'll do these. Write to standard form with the indicated significant figures for a, uh, what is that, uh, 1.7 million with four sig figs, and B is negative 0 0.001456.2 with three sig figs. Okay, give it your best shot after hitting pause, and then we'll give you the, the right answers, and you can check your work. All right, hit your pause. Okay, you're back. Let's take a look. Here are the correct answers for A and B. There they are. Did you get that? If you didn't, you didn't write the answer to standard exponential notation. Go back through the process, see if you can get it. All right, let's try the, uh, the two other practice problems I've given you. Or is it only one? I think it's only one. Nope, it's two. I forgot. Take these two numbers. 472.320 times 10 to the 4th, uh, and 0 0.0000779 times 10 to the minus 2, and write those numbers to standard exponential notation. Hit pause, give it your best shot. Let's see how you did. Okay, you're back. You did your best, you wrote down your right answer, let's see, or your best right answer, let's see if you're actually right. Those are the correct answers for C and for D. That's your practice. Hopefully you're doing well. Go to your teacher if you're having troubles. See you next time.